Today I'm going to be going over the simple maintenance and cleaning procedures for your product at STI. So once the oven's cooled down, uh, I recommend doing this at the end of service each day or when you see fit, depending on your volume and how dirty the oven is. I would open up the oven, take out the grid rack, and then far back in the back of the oven, there's going to be a catalytic converter and that's held by two metal sleeves. So you're going to go ahead and take that out. And again, based off your volume, you're going to want to clean this either every day, every other day, weekly or bi-weekly. Um, so just keep an eye on it. Uh, the way to clean this is just to spray it down with your pre-rinse, use simple soap detergent like Dawn dish soap, for example. Um, let it soak in there for maybe 10 to 20 minutes and then spray it out. I wouldn't try and open this up or scrub it with any brush or anything like that. Um, it's fairly delicate so just hand wash um, and use your pre-rinse and then let it set to dry and then once it's dry you can put it back in for service the following day or what have you. So after that's clean you're going to then want to get out all the crispy so just use a simple sandy dish towel or anything like that get out all the crispy gunk um, from there and then each oven should come with two pieces of cleaner. One is this oven cleaner so this cleans the inside of the oven and then after you scrub that down with that um, and, and dry it off, then you're going to spray the oven down with this oven shield and this is just a cavity protectant and let it stand to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. And once that's all done, you're done with the cleaning. Um, for the outside, I would just use basic stainless steel cleaner or even like a simple green and that should do the trick. For simple cleaning and training, Pratica also has a daily cleaning guide button that takes the operator step by step uh, on how to properly clean the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. And it's going to tell me exactly what to do with picture images. It's going to tell me to remove the cook rack and bottom jet plate and place in the sink. Then I'm going to hit the next arrow and then it's going to tell me to apply the oven cleaner to the cooking rack and jet plate and allow to stand. And then next, it's telling me apply oven cleaner to cavity walls and door, let stand for five minutes. I recommend 10 or more, but it says here for five minutes. And then it has a little loading bar. After you spray it, you're gonna hit that next button and then it's gonna go through a cycle of five minutes. Um, so it even times it for you. Once the timer goes off and that means five minutes is reached, you're gonna hit the next arrow and then it's going to tell me, use a non-abrasive scrub pad to loosen any stubborn stains if necessary. Again, every Pratica oven will come with a simple sponge and towel. So you can use that sponge and towel to get out all the, uh, all the stubborn stains and anything loose in there. You're going to hit next after that, and that's going to tell you, wipe and rinse the cavity with a wet towel, removing cleaner and debris. Next, it's going to say apply vinegar to cavity walls and door to neutralize oven cleaner residue. And by vinegar, they just mean that oven protectant that I showed you before that also comes with the oven. Then it's going to tell you to wipe and rinse the cavity with a wet towel again, and then dry the oven with a dry towel. And then it just goes through telling you how to clean the pans and the racks basically the same way. Um, and then it's going to tell you to check the catalytic converter position, rinse and dry the rack, reinstall, and then oven cleaning complete. So, simple step by step process. Anyone can uh, be able to do this as long as they're able to read or even follow directions by image. Thank you.